Hi guys, welcome back to a Dorfus video. Today's going to be a bit different. It's going to be quite a quick one, but just more of an update to say why I haven't really posted a Let's Play episode in the past few days. Um, Temporis 4 is out, and there has been some really, really exciting stuff happening on Temporis 4. I think nobody expected it to be this popular. Um, I think with everything that's going on in the world, I think a lot of people like to... You know, they need to sit down and, you know, kind of exert all that um, energy that they would be using in, say, work or activities outside. And obviously they're putting their time into Dofus, which is not a bad thing at all. So I have been playing for about three days now because it was released three days ago. Uh, it did take quite a while to release due to some maintenance issues, but we managed to get there in the end. I'll quickly go over whereabouts I am in the whole quest line. Uh, what I have accomplished within this time, and what the goals are as well. So Temporis is a server which should be out for around two months, and the idea is to gain um, temp, to temp tokens, I believe they're called. And in doing so, you can receive multiple rewards, which can be transferred over when the server actually ends. So as you can see, for 6,000 you get... Iops Wrath, which is essentially the most strongest spell in the game, so to speak. Um, obviously, there's so many different rewards, like a, an Ultra Dofus, there's these new mounts, which are really cool. But yeah, it's just like a nice little way to kind of spend your time unlocking achievements, doing quests, doing the grind. Now, if you have been a part of this channel for a while and you've seen my Let's Play videos, you know how... I always say, do the challenges, do the quests, do the achievements, and this is why. This is... Um, ultimately showing you why you should do them. So if we go on to our achievements and we scroll down to Temporis here, we can kind of see how to get um, 10 tokens. Now for doing a low level mobs, which is just literally defeating the dungeon, not doing any of the achievements, just defeating it, we get 1 to 2 tokens. As you can see, I've managed to do all level 1 to 50. Um, which was, you know, it was really, it was quite easy. They are quite easy dun dungeons. You have to go back and do a few more achievements, like Hermit on the Sponge, um, and yeah, Zombie. You know, just a few here and there. It's not too many. Um, just in order to get the low levels first, which would be a nice achievement to have. Um, but yeah, as you can see through Temporis, getting achievements actually enables you to get ten tokens. Now when we go down here we can kind of see dungeons give you achievements, that's all good, and they give you rewards. Now achievement points, so earning more achievement points gives you rewards. Uh, as you can see, earning 10,000 gives you 30, which isn't a lot, but you get every 250 points you gain around 30, which is quite nice. Um, I've just managed to reach 1,315, so my next one will be at 150, and then it goes up to 250 every single time, which is quite a lot of tokens if you think about it. Next is the challenges, which is, you know, it's safe to say, just do the challenges in the dungeon. It's not too hard. Um, the level of the mob has to be higher or equal to you. So, um, yeah, just be wary of that when you're doing these challenges. The wanted notices, again, I have tried doing the first three, uh, first four actually, but because this server is so alive, everyone is doing it, so I actually can't find the bounties. So I'm just going to wait for a bit to do them. And then the biggest, the biggest thing is the quest. This is probably the best way to utilize your time and to get 10 tokens. So as you can see, for doing 10 quests, you're going to get 5 tokens, which you kind of do just in, in Incarnum. 25, 10, and so on it goes up. As you can see, we've just surpassed 100, and we got 40 tokens. And then for 125, we get another 40. Um, but yeah, it's really, really good way to get tokens questing. Now... Time-wise, what I've been doing is just going through the quests in line with um, the actual, you know, story. So if we go for our quest here, we can see main quest. We started off with doing the Incarnum, doing the Astrub, and then we're going to be on to the um, Cower as well, which is the one we're on now. So this is a really nice way to kind of do the quests. I think if you focus heavily on doing the Incarnum, then doing the Astrub, then go to Pandula. Um, either do them and then come straight to uh, Wabbit Island to get the Coward Dofus. 
There's a lot of different ways to do it, but I think this is probably one of the best ways to do it. So we're going to be focusing heavily on this dungeon, which I'm not going to be showing you a video. This is more of an update of to what I've been doing. Um, profession wise, I think I've done a lot of professions in regards to maging. Um, I have maged a lot of my friends gears um, because it's quite a useful thing to have, especially low level, and it's very, very, very easy to do. The unique thing about this server quickly is the drops. So each mob drops a different item and they also drop spells, but we will touch on that in a bit. So as you can see, the black wabbit can drop stuff like the turco cape, which is not usually dropped by the wabbit at all. Uh, a few different items and some blop pieces. Obviously it's a very low percent chance, but um, the majority of the server have probably gone chance based just due to the fact that that would increase your prospecting in turn getting you more drops. Um, set wise, so I have gone chance myself as you can see and I have managed to merge pretty much all my gear. Uh, nothing too spe special and spectacular, it's just kind of you know, looking after um, the chance and trying to increase my chances of getting some more spells and items. This is one of the new pet mounts which is located in the temp Auris uh, rewards tab as you can see for gaining 150. The next one is at 1000, is it 650 sorry my bad, which is that one which just has a bit more um, stats overall which is quite nice and then the next one and so on and so forth. So yeah there's a lot to talk about, <laughs> there's a lot to do but I think um, if you guys want to see more update videos in regards to this server, please do let me know because I am, you know, I'm heavily into doing stuff like that. Um, the biggest thing that about this server is the spells, for definite. Now, usually in 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 Dofa, your class is fixated to a certain spell, and them spells are either swapped out throughout, you know, your PvP, your PvM, or however you want to play as a person. But what makes this server special is it's the first Tempora server which has enforced uh, drops as spells, as you can see here. Now these spells can be learned by any single character, which means you have so many diverse ways of playing because you are not limited to knowing what that person have has spell-wise. So if, if we go into Colosseum, for instance, which is going to be something that's going to be coming in a few weeks, um, and I'm facing an IOP, I don't have to kind of, you know, I don't have to go online and say, okay, what spells do an IOP have? Because this server just just gets rid of that completely. That IOP could have, you know, uh, summon a tofu. It could, it could use paw pads. It could use echo flip spells. And that's a really, really amazing thing about this um, server. Now, the whole base is obviously going to be doing the main quest line, getting achievements, getting tokens. That's going to be the first few weeks. Everyone understands that. So everyone's going to be getting the same spells, the same approach, and that's just because it's the quickest way about it. So going chance, for instance, is a really good idea because there's a lot of strong spells for a lower level chance, um, which is brilliant because it gets you through the story really quick and you get everything you need to get. So that's what you're going to see on this server. Um, some of the spells are dropped from a monster, but some of them are also only crafted. Now, what that means is... You can craft spells, essentially, which is kind of one of the new professions, which is called a scroll mage. As you can see down here, I haven't leveled it up at all, and I know I should, but I just haven't really... I've not been really fixated on that. Now, the important thing about this is you can only get certain spells this way. So if we look, for instance, at Tipple, Tipple can only be gotten by crafting it, which means... If you were wanting these spells, you have to level your scroll mages up or find somebody who has it that high. So that's why I'm keeping all of my scrolls just for when I want to level this up, I can, which is going to be, you know, quite unique. So for my level, I'm level 73 at the moment. Um, this spell, oh my god, I don't know how that's going to work. Um, let's have a look. So for my level... You know, as you can see, there's not really any chance-based spells, but that doesn't matter. I could switch class, I could, I mean, I could switch element, I could, you know, reset my characteristics, I could sell my set, I could get a new set. It's very, very, do what you want to do. Don't do it because someone else is doing it. Uh, Guild-wise, I mean, we've got a really active guild, as you can see. There is, 50, there is 72 players online right now, as we speak. 
and everyone is around the same level, um, around 70s, 80s, obviously people just starting today are going to be a bit lower, but yeah, this is a full English speaking guild, uh, it's really nice to see everyone come together, and you know, as, as you know, bad as that sounds, I kind of enjoy that because it's it's something that this community has been lacking for a while. The English speaking community, that is, anyways. Um, also, the Temporis server is comprised of ten different servers. I am on Temporis X, which I believe a lot of English speakers are also on as well. So, if you guys are on Temporis and you want some help, you want something maging, you want some, you know, you want some feedback on a set, or you want some help with dropping certain items, please do let me know. Uh, I'm going to be online pretty much, you know, all day, every day. Um, but I don't think, you know, substituting sleep is a very good idea. So I have been getting around eight hours sleep every day and playing as well. So just obviously take care of your, yourself. Um, be healthy. Make sure you're eating, drinking lots of water. Stay hydrated because that is fundamentally one of the most important things when it comes to long periods of gaming. But yeah, I just wanted to touch upon that subject for a bit. I do want to get back into the Let's Play. Um, I did actually log on to Shadow today and I did sell quite a lot of stuff. We've got about 2 million worth of cameras on there so we can play around with that and get some new sets going for our team. So you guys, thanks for watching and sticking around if you did make it this far. Um, any questions or anything at all, please do leave them in the comments below. I'll try to get to them as soon as possible. And yeah, I hope everyone's doing well and I'll see you soon.